Today we're going to sh demonstrate how to test a simple cassette to cassette based system with the new encircled flux or EF compliant fluke test heads and fluke test cords. Okay. Before testing or setting reference you need to ensure that your equipment is clean. You can inspect the SC adapters on the fluke DTX utilizing a video probe and you can inspect the end faces of the test cords with the handheld SC scope. In order to set reference, we're going to utilize method B, TIA method B, which is one jumper. For this, you will place the transmit with the EF compliance cord and the transmit and the other end on the receive. You would take the other EF compliant cord, transmit to receive, and you would set Go to Special Functions, scroll down to Set Reference, hit Enter, and Test. And what you're looking for is a number between negative 22 and negative 24 dB. Okay. After you're setting your reference and you get the value between neg 22 and neg 24, that does not necessarily mean you have a good reference. You need to test your actual reference cords to ensure that the values are within reference grade. The SC value is 0.25 dB. So in order to do that, you would remove the receive, put it into an adapter, remove the receive from the other side, put it into the adapter, and then introduce your reference cores as you would with method B. Okay, once this is done, you can go to auto test, hit test, and it will test and give you a value. Once again, for SCs, it needs to be 0.25 dB or less in order to be qualified for a good reference cord. If it's higher than that, you need to either change out patch cords or try to clean them to get the value below 0.25 dB. Okay. After you qualify your reference cords, you take them out of the adapter, save your reference value so you ensure that you can qualify your cords if asked. Take your main controller to the one end of the link. You take the other controller, the smart remote, to the other end of the link. And you plug it in. And when you hear the chirp, you have connectivity. And then you can go ahead and start testing your link.